hello everyone so far we have completed uh, the last unit unit 5 that is peripheral devices today we are going to start with unit 4 that is programming with 8085 and 8086 first we'll do programming with 8085 although i have discussed uh, the concepts of programming in 8085 in lab hours but still i'm taking programming in 8085 from the beginning so first question load the hexadecimal number 37h in register b and display the number at port 1 the question is saying that we have to load the hexadecimal number 37h in register b and then the display the output at port 1 see to load any number into register we have an instruction mvi mvi and where we have to load in register b and what we have to load 37h so load the hexadecimal number 37h mvi b 37h this means load 37h in register b okay first step done now it is saying and display the number at port 1 always remember that we if we have to display the output on ports then ports will reflect only the contents of accumulator what i'm trying to say is ki agar hame port pe display karana hai port pe display karane ke liye hame register mein se result ko hame kahan copy karna padega accumulator mein kyunki port hamesha accumulator ke contents ko hi display karta hai so what we'll do will move the contents of register B into accumulator and for that we have an instruction MOV A B means move the contents from B to A clear now and display the number at port 1 so out port 1 simply this is an instruction for displaying the number at port 1 and then halt. So, this is the first program. This was the basic program about AD85, how to load a number in registers. Okay, let's move to second question. The contents of an accumulator are 93H and the contents of register C are B7H. Add both the contents. C. In the question itself, it is given to us that we have to add the contents. कहीं पर भी उसने नहीं बोला है write a program. तो अगर ऐसा होगा कि उसने हमें program लिखने के लिए नहीं बोला है, तो हम program नहीं लिखेंगे. उसने हमें बोला the contents of accumulator are 93H. 93H. And contents of register C are B7H. And we have to add these. So what we'll do? Convert this 93H into binary. What is the binary equivalent of 9? It's 1, 0, 0, 1. Binary equivalent of 3? 0, 0, 1, 1. Binary equivalent of B? 1, 0, 1, 1. And 7, 0, triple 1. Now add. 1 plus 1? 0, 0, 1. Carry 1. 1 with the carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0 with the carry of 1. 1 plus 1, 0 with the carry of 1. 0 with the carry of 1. 1 and 0 and there will be a carry. See, now what we have to do actually the question is incomplete the contents of accumulator are 93h and contents of register c are b7h add both the contents and show the status of sign 0 and carry flag this is the complete question so we are done with this we know very well that the results are stored in accumulator only. So, accumulator will contain this number. This is carry. Okay. 
we are done with the addition now we have to show the contents of sign zero and carry flag so sign number is positive so sign would be zero zero flag would also be zero because accumulator has some data it is not storing zero so zero flag is zero and what about carry this is set that is one because we are getting an extra bit here clear so the result is what one this is what four and what is this a one four a h this is the result okay carry this is four and this is a so this is the result this was second question now let's move to third question add the numbers 35 h directly to 4 a h when carry flag is set now see there is a difference it is saying we have to add two numbers but the status of carry flag is set so what we'll do simply the steps are same write down the contents of accumulator actually this is the content of accumulator this is an accumulator okay so accumulator is 4 a h okay and suppose this is register b register b stores 3 5 h convert these number into binary 4 4 is 0 1 0 0 a 1 0 1 0 3 3 0 0 1 1 and 5 0 1 0 1 now add because it has said add the numbers now add but carry flag is also set carry is set already okay now 1 plus 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 zero now tell me is there any carry no we don't have any carry in case we don't have carry then we have to reset the carry flag since there is no carry after addition therefore reset the carry flag so reset means zero and this is the result that means this is what three and this is what 15 15 means f so answer is three f h clear and if we talk about the status of flags then sign would be zero 0 would be 0 and carry carry will be 0 why because we have reset the carry okay so we are done with three questions now let's move to fourth question write a program and then we have four parts see question may that write a program and th these are some instructions and then usme kahin par ye bhi likha ho sakta hai and show the status of registers and show the status of registers so that means what we have to do see write a program to load the number 8bh in register d so if we have to load the number in register d there is an instruction m v i d 8 b h this is first part and usne bola hai and show the status of registers so jab usne humse bola hai and show the status of registers to hum kya karenge hum yahan par apna register organization bana denge side mein 
these questions come for two marks this is accumulator b d h c e l and this is flag register sign zero carry only take only three sign zero and carry no need to take parity and auxiliary carry okay now start mvid 8bh mvid where is d here we have so what we'll do we'll store this 8b in register d this is first part okay now second part load the number 65h in register c load the number 65h in register c so mvi c 6f h and again the status of registers a b d h l e c and this is f sign 0 carry okay now mvic 6f h that means 6f will be stored in register c now c part increment the contents of register c so increment means i n r c increment the contents of register c done now d part add the contents of register c and d and display the sum at port 1 now what we have to do we have to add these contents the contents of register c and register d so what we'll do to add first we'll take the contents of one register in accumulator so i'm writing mov a c copy the contents of c into a now add d means add the contents of d with a done and we have to display the result at port 1 and then simply halt so this is the program mvid 8bh mvic 6fh inrc movac add d output 1 halt clear now if you want to display the final contents in uh, register organization then you can do like this a b d h l e c f sign 0 carry okay so result will be there in accumulator so accumulator will store the result so if you add then what will be the result d is storing 8 bh 8 bh c 6 fh and accumulator mein kya hoga hamara result jo bhi inko add karke aap wo result likh dijiyega okay these are the contents of registers clear now let's move to another question load the number 30h in register e and 39h in register c then second part subtract 39h from 30h display the answer at port 1 now we have to perform subtraction but before starting with subtraction let me tell you the steps for subtraction steps to subtract two numbers see we have four steps first is convert subtract into ones complement okay now second step add one 
टू द वंस कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू ऑप्टेन टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट स्टेप थ्री एड टूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू द माइन एंड एंड देन लास्ट स्टेप कॉम्प्लीमेंट दी कैरी फ्लैग दीज आर द स्टेप्स टू सब्ट्रैक्ट टू नंबर सो लेट स्टार्ट सी विल राइट प्रोग्राम प्लस विल डू इट मैनुअली एज वेल जब एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आएगा तो आप प्रोग्राम भी लिखेंगे एंड मैनुअली भी करके दिखाएंगे सी प्रोग्राम लोड द नंबर थ्री जीरो एच इन रजिस्टर ई टू लोड अ नंबर इन टू एनी रजिस्टर वी हैव एन इंस्ट्रक्शन एम वी आई सो विल राइट एम वी आई बी थ्री जीरो एच देन इन रजिस्टर ई इफ इट इज गिवन इन रजिस्टर ई देन विल राइट ई ओनली नाउ एंड लोड द नंबर थ्री नाइन एच इन रजिस्टर सी सो एम वी आई सी थ्री नाइन एच नाउ सब्रैक्ट थ्री नाइन एच फ्रॉम थ्री जीरो एच सो वॉट विल डू विल मूव द कंटेंट्स ऑफ एक्यूम विल मूव द कंटेंट्स ऑफ रजिस्टर ई सॉरी ई इन एक्यूमलेटर now subtract c then display and then halt these are the steps to write the program this is the program to subtract two numbers mvi e 30h mvi c 39h mov a e subtract c output 1 mvi 3 e 30h means copy the number 30h in register e now mvic 39h means copy the number in register c now move the contents of e that means this first number in accumulator then subtract c means subtract 39h from 30h and then display at port 1 and halt now if we talk about manual process then what we'll do first write down 39h 3 Zero zero one one, and what about nine? One zero zero one. Now, one's complement of three nine h. Then, one one zero zero and zero one one zero. This is the one's complement. Now, add one. So, add one. One 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 zero one one zero zero. So this is what this is the two's complement of three nine h. Now simply add three zero h. That means three means zero zero double one and zero 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 zero. Add one 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 zero one 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 one. This we are getting. Okay. That means one two three four. One two three four. That means F and seven. F seven H is the result. Now, see, these are negative numbers. If these are negative numbers and we are performing the addition, then, sorry, if we talk about the status sign zero and carry. Now sign. Obviously, one. Why one? Because we are subtracting three nine. Sorry. Yes, we are subtracting three nine from three zero. Three zero is less than three nine. So answer would be negative. So sign would be negative. Zero would be zero, and carry would also be zero. Okay. This is the manual process, and this is the program. Now, next question. Assume register B holds nine three H and the accumulator holds one five H. 
illustrate the result of the instructions ORAB, XRAB and CMA. ORAB means logical OR, XRA means logical XOR and CMA means complement the contents of accumulator. Now register B has what? 9 3 H that means 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 okay and the accumulator holds 1 5 H okay that means 0 0 0 1 and 5 is 0 1 0 1 now obviously result will be stored in accumulator perform ORAB ORAB so ORAB means logical OR so suppose this is true 1 stands for true and 0 stands for false ya chodi aap true false chodi 1 or 1 1 1 0 1 or 0 1 0 1 0 0 we are performing logical or so 1 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 0 1 this is the logical or and if we perform XRA Now we have to perform XRA, X R A B, then XOR, if both the bits are same, then 0, if they are different, then 1, so 1 XOR 1, same, 0, 1 XOR 0, 1, because bits are different, again bits are different, now same, 0, 0, 0, 1, okay, see, 1 XOR 1 is 0, 0 XOR 0 is also 0 and 0 XOR 1 is 1 and 1 XOR 0 is also 1, clear? Now CMA, complement the contents of accumulator, 0 0 0 1, 0 1 0 1 0 1 now apply CMA, CMA means complement so complement means 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 this is the result that's it okay so these were the basic programs related to 8085 in the next video we'll cover some uh, advanced programs on 8085 plus i'll be giving you one assignment also today you have to complete that that's it for today thank you